My family got into debt very quickly and I'm sort of freaking out about it. Are we okay? Monthly income is 7,200 after 401k contribution, taxes and insurance. Our mortgage is $1,475 a month at 2.3% interest. That interest rate is crazy. Good job. We have a car loan of $620 a month. We need to refinance because it's currently at 8%. My husband uses this vehicle for work and he needs four wheel drive and towing capacity. PSFL save payments, $50 a month, five years left. Power, $350, used to be 109. I don't know why. Internet, $92 a month. Phones, $130. Theme park, $20. Water and heater, $90. Car insurance, $182. Two cars, one is paid off. Husband personal loan, 90 a month with a balance of 3,000. Husband personal loan, two, 280 a month with a balance of 8,500, 5% interest. Husband credit card, 100 a month with a balance of 4,300. Husband credit card, two, 25 a month with a balance of 1,000. Husband medical debt, 140 a month with a balance of 7,600. My credit card, 50 a month with a balance of 1,900. There's a lot more credit cards, I'm not gonna read them. Total fixed bills of $844 a month. Total consumer debt without the car or the mortgage. I'm assuming this includes the credit cards with a monthly payment of $790 and roughly $25,000 total. Funds left after we pay the mortgage, the car, the fixed bills, and the consumer debt is $3,421. And our weekly budget is $500 a week or $2,000 a month. Weekly budget breakdown is $200 for food, $100 for gas, $100 for diapers and the kids, $100 for miscellaneous expenses. Monthly save to the emergency budget is $500, which is currently a zero because of of a medical emergency. 921 goes straight to debt trying to do the snowball method. Do we have a good plan moving forward? I've never been in so much debt before, but we've also never made this much before. It definitely seemed to creep up as we started to make more money. Dot, dot, dot. Jeez, I think you guys maybe have just been out of control. I don't know. Your numbers seem doable, but I'm more worried about the behavior that's caused you to get into debt than I am worried about paying off the debt itself. You've just got to stop financing stuff. You've proven that you should not have credit cards. So once you pay them off, close them out and then don't open any new ones. You already have a mortgage and a car loan that will help you establish credit, so you don't need credit cards for that. Chop them up. All right, my next point, your repayment plan will definitely work, but to me, it seems pretty slow. You're paying a little under a thousand bucks a month towards debt, which is good, but with that timeline, you're looking at being out of debt in over two years, and for $25,000, I think you should be able to pay this off sooner. I think you need to get more intense and either you or your husband needs to work more hours. You can also reanalyze your budget and find areas you can cut because right now is not the time to have fun or to spend lavishly. You should be doing everything you can to get out of this debt. For example, I noticed you have some theme park passes that you're financing monthly and it's only $25 a month, but typically when you go to a theme park, you're paying for parking, food, extra entertainment. There's a lot that can build up. So I'm just using that as an example. That could be an area you could potentially cut. And just based on the numbers you gave, you should actually have closer to 1500 a month just with your current spending that you can contribute towards debt. And it might not sound like a huge difference, but it'll definitely add up. And one more point, I don't know how much you're contributing to your 401ks, but for right now, I would not contribute more than what your companies are matching. It's definitely worth taking advantage of that match, but you'd be better off putting anything in excess towards the debt. And then once the debt is paid off, you can go back to loading up those 401ks. But you can do this. Your numbers for getting this paid off seem fine, but you just need to identify why you're in debt and stop doing it. But you can do this. Good luck.